strive to be a military friendly company because we know that veterans bring unique tangibles to the table such as teamwork, discipline, dedication, and the ability and willingness to go above and beyond to get the job done. My name is Brian Favreau. I'm a recruiting program manager at Clean Harbors and I was a first sergeant of Maine Recruiting Company for the United States Army. Clean Harbors is a, the land of opportunity. Uh, if you can't be successful here, you can't be successful anywhere. And I say that because we offer so many opportunities that if you come in, you work hard, you desire to do the best, uh, you will absolutely have a long and successful career. Hi, I'm Mike Toy, former Army officer, Major 35 Delta, Tactical All Source Intelligence Officer. Today, I'm the Executive Vice President of Health and Safety and Risk Management for Clean Harbors. Veterans possess a lot of skills that we look for here at Clean Harbors, and I specifically look forward to add to the team. Discipline, tenacity to get through a problem that's very difficult, the willingness to stay and put in the extra effort. Those are all great qualities that are developed in the service. I think uh, a lot of the military folks that end up with Clean Harbors are very successful. I know a bunch of them. Um, there's a lot of us here, uh, and I enjoy working with them every day because uh, we immediately are at a different plateau and a different level when we come into a situation. It's really not necessarily about the individual skill sets. Um, very hard for an 11 Bravo, an infantryman in the Army, to uh, say this is what I'm going to do out in the real world. Uh, but having said that, I think the most important aspects that a soldier, sailor, Air Force, or Marine, you know, bring to uh, Clean Harbors is the characteristic traits that are learned in the military. They bring a, a level of character, a level of being, a level of been there and done that and willing to do it um, that uh, far exceeds, uh, quite frankly, uh, other people that haven't been in that, that environment. So one of the best things about coming to Clean Harbors is the people. Uh, it really helps with the transition into the civilian world to work with other people that have done it themselves, have gone through it, and they can help you do it as well. There's a lot of people that were prior service here, so we you know, joke around, we go out after work together. Um, it's a very tight-knit group of people. The best thing working at Clean Arbors is the camaraderie. You have people that respect you, people that's very friendly and that you can work with, and they give you great education and they help you in every way. I'm in Labadi, I was a 71 Lima administrative specialist and I'm now at Clean Harbors as a sales tax accountant. What I would suggest is if you're in the military, you just come in at Clean Harbors and you already have great work ethics, so you just come in and get the training and get the education and then you can move up. Teamwork is the most relatable attribute that I find between my military service and my time here at Clean Harbors. Being in the recruiting command in the Army, Meeting our monthly and our yearly mission is crucial to the success uh, for the Army's mission as a whole. Same thing here at Clean Harbors. We have our monthly and yearly mission as a recruiting team. If we don't make those numbers, our company cannot provide services to our customers. I was uh, in the United States Army in the Air Defense Artillery Branch. I was a tactical control officer for a Patriot missile battery. It seemed to be an easy fit um, from the military uh, with the logistics and transportation piece, the leadership of um, soldiers translated to uh, the leadership of individuals, of people. It could be drivers, it could be now mechanics, um, other managers, team leaders, and that kind of thing. It was um, it's structured a lot like the military. You have, you have the drivers, you have the driver coordinators, you have the general managers, um, so you have a chain of uh, supervision. Um, you have uh, everything that goes with that, the health, welfare, and safety of the individuals that work for you. So it's very similar. What I did in the military uh, uh, kind of mirrors what I do here. I really enjoy uh, taking care of people and making sure that they do things the right way safely. Uh, I was responsible for up to 300 to 500 people in different activities in the military. And I was the safety guru that they always came to. My name is James Reeves. I was a Chief Petty Officer in the United States Navy, 24 years of honorable service. I'm now a Health and Safety Manager for Western New England region here for Clean Harbors. 
I started my career in the U.S. Navy and served with the pleasure of the Marines, and then uh, decided to move into the Coast Guard, uh, where I spent another 20 years doing uh, search and rescue, medevacs, and deep sea diving. The transferable skills from the military to the Coast Guard are um, abundant in clean harbors because it's an ever-changing environment and an ever-changing dynamic. You have to be a very team-oriented person to survive in this environment. What Clean Harbors offers is a support structure around that. So we work in small teams, much like squads in the, in the military. There's a clear mission to go do the, the work at hand, the discipline it takes to do that work safely. Those things offer a comfort and a parallel to service in the military. Hi, I'm Kevin Ridings. I was a crew chief in the U.S. Army for five years. I was discharged as a sergeant, and now I'm the executive vice president of transportation and logistics at Clean Harbor. When I served in the Army as a 25 Bravo, which is an information systems operator and analyst. So the work that I do here um, to assist Clean Harbors in completing its mission is we support the data center, uh, which provides all the services and uh, web interfaces for all the different lines of business that we have. We're used to the, the hectic, uh, always on the go, uh, getting the mission done at all costs. And what we do, not everybody is willing to do what we do. So. The challenge is always there. You don't get bored with what you're doing. So I think it's a perfect environment for, for veterans. I think my message is if you come on board Clean Harbors, there's a lot to do here, but go slow, do your homework, read your materials, and prepare like you would prepare for any other mission. You know, I would recommend Clean Harbors for any veteran that's looking to um, not only further their career or work in a, in a um, challenging um, atmosphere, but to take the skills that they've learned in the military and have a place you can actually apply them. I, I tell people all the time, this is a warrior company. Lane Harbors is made uh, for warriors. It's made for people that want to um, see how strong and capable they are, and there are really no, no limits to your career progression here. I think if you want to come work for an organization that values you as an individual and you're willing to lean in and help us complete the mission, this is a place for you.